Why should investors consider investing in Africa XSA? Right now, look, this is not always the case, uh, but right now valuations are looking particularly cheap. We've had a couple of years of emerging market underperformance versus the rest of the world. So we've seen a lot of outflows out of emerging markets, out of frontier markets, and kind of getting the back end of that, you get Africa seeing these outflows as well. So valuations are particularly compelling right now, but over and above that, you do have a longer term beta story. You've got a longer term growth story, I would say more than in South Africa. You've got many of the countries growing at, I guess in the region of five to 6% per year. And even those countries that are not, that are struggling at the moment, like Nigeria, uh, have, have got all the, those demographic growth drivers in place. They've got the potential to grow back at the rates that they used to in the region of five, six, seven percent per year. So you've got that, I guess let's call it a longer term trend, that longer term secular trend of, of growth, of urbanization, of rapid population growth, etc. And then these are also very undeveloped markets, very nascent markets. And because of that, you get a lot of inefficiencies. So maybe what South Africa was like 50 years ago, there, there's some really interesting, let, let's call the growth story the beta opportunity, and then you've got just pure alpha opportunities because of how inefficient these markets are, how, how generally young and, and nascent they still are.